My name is Lori from MarijuanaDoctors.com, America's leading online resource for patients looking for information about medical cannabis. We connect qualified patients who want to get their medical cannabis card to practitioners in 30 states. Today, we're talking to the Bellamy Brothers and truly Florida's largest medical dispensary. They're celebrating the one-year anniversary of their collaboration called the Old Hippie Stash, a new cannabis brand available at Trulies. So good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I have to admit that when I told some of my family members and friends on Facebook that I was interviewing the, the Bellamy brothers, they were pretty excited too, especially my mom. So oh, <laughs> it's really great to meet you. But they um, had your mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there'll be no living with her after that. <laughs> um, so today we're joined by Valda Coriat, um, the chief marketing officer at Trulies. Um, so the first question I have is, um, for the Bellamy Brothers, um, Howard and David, what made you decide to collaborate with True Leaves and create your own uh, brand of medical cannabis? Um, well, I guess uh, you know when when the when medical marijuana started when it first started in, in Florida here, I, I, I accused Howard of being the first person in the state to have his license. <laughs> Proud of that. <laughs> and um, it, it took me like an, another month or so, but. You know, uh, we had the idea for a while, you know, we said, you know, this would be like a really good thing, but we didn't know anyone. And we, we ran into Kim, you know, we met Kim uh, through some mutual acquaintances and, uh, and got to talking to her a little bit. And then we went up and, and toured Truly. The, the tour of Truly was really, really incredible. It's one of the greatest things ever. And because um, we're, we're basically farmers at heart. So anything growing, you know, it's, we love, we, we you know, we run a ranch and we, you know, we've farmed ever since we were kids. Um, and we've smoked marijuana since we were, I don't know. I shouldn't tell that, should I? <laughs> <laughs> but, Once in college, but you did inhale, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I inhaled many times it's, in it's college. In, it's in the book. <laughs> yeah. But, but you know, uh, it was just sort of a natural thing. You know, it, it just worked. You know, we, we kept talking to Kim a few times and then uh, it, it just sort of came together. And uh, the odd thing, the, the really weird part of the story was as we were on tour with Blake Shelton last year when, when, uh, when COVID came along and shut everything down. And, and we were like, we, we went from playing these huge arenas with Blake and, and Trace Atkins and the guys. And uh, we, all of a sudden we were just home at the ranch. You know, everybody was just home and everybody. And, and truly call like, like two days later and say, hey, we're launching, we're launching your brand. And it was like one thing stopped and another thing just started up. Great it was timing. Like, it was a strange. Yeah, great timing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we were basically I was one day wandering around in the dispensary, of course, truly, of course. And, uh, you know, seeing all these names that we had lived with and we, you know, we had plants we had named in the past, you know, it was, it was part of our culture. And uh, so we saw these names and it just, a bell rung you know well, old hippies is perfect for this you know it's the mm -hmm. uh, old hippies are who started all of this and so and, and uh so that's that's kind of where the idea grew from is just that little brainstorm that happened you're just looking at different names of uh, of different uh flower you know mm -hmm. that's really cool i would love to go for a tour of truly's uh grow oh, oh, as well they, uh, i yeah. You are welcome anytime. <laughs> I would love that. When I come to Florida, I'll definitely reach out to you, Valda, because I would. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, it's better than Disney. I mean, it's really <laughs> that's, my that's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> so, Valda, can you tell us a little bit more about the three strains of cannabis that were created for the Bellamy Brothers brand? We we created the brand right, Old Hippie Stash, uh, with originally two strains, uh, Big Love and Reggae Cowboy. And both of those are hybrids. Um, and so Big Love is really well balanced, um, has an aroma that's very piney and sweet. Um, and the flavor is also rich and earthy. Reggae Cowboy though is a hybrid that uh, has these light purple buds uh, with a really mossy green highlights. Um, and the flowers are covered in, uh, well, in abundance of what we call trichomes, right? So when you say it's really frosty, that, that's what you're referring to. And I don't even know if uh, Howard and David know this, but Reggae Cowboy earned the nickname Frost Lord among our grow team. 
So the guys that are there in cultivation, that's when they looked at that one, that's, that's what came to mind. We went with those names uh, very much in line, obviously, with some of your uh, very well-known songs, right? And we launched it at a premium price. Um, so $58 uh, for uh, 3.5 grams or an eighth. And they were so successful that we came out with a third afterglow. And afterglow is actually an indica. So, I mean, we've just seen tremendous success. I think, you know, um, tying into music, you know, we definitely see a connection uh, between cannabis and creativity, right? So if you think of a lot of musicians and artists and so forth, they've, you know, never had an, an issue really, many of them. Um, you know, with cannabis um, as, as uh, inspiration, let's say. So this, this question is for Howard and David. Um, do you have family members or friends that have a health condition that have successfully used medical cannabis to moderate their symptoms? Oh, we do. I have one sitting right here. <laughs> a family member. Well, you know, there's for years, there's still a stigma uh, for uh, marijuana, but uh, from people from my generation, I'm 75. And, uh, you know, there's some that never had smoked. And of course, I, I kind of did it all. And when it, when I discovered it, it was like, uh, I quit drinking. It stopped <laughs> me from drinking. I, and I, uh, still today, there's a stigma, you know, they, they think that it's, it's either, uh, you know, it's, 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 unholy or it's, it's you know it's 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 uh it's bad for you you're gonna freak out you're gonna you know they just don't know it's just uh but you know just friends you know i don't coax anybody to do i just say well you should try you know just give and since even even in the old days though you you could get a hold of certain plants that you know a little paranoid you know oh i don't want to smoke this plant here <laughs> you know and certainly we, we grew, grew a plant one time we named it the rattler that accidentally had that, uh, I came in, it was lived all summer in the woods and came in and it had the frost you had talked about, mm -hmm. had uh, a freeze that happened, it was, it was Christmas and this thing had frost, frosted and I said, oh no, it's killed the plant, but the buds just fell down mm -hmm. and the resin had come into the buds. It just crystallized. It, and, <laughs> and when it dried, it was just uh, shot crystals and it yeah. was the most popular, I mean, this, that, that plant made it into Hollywood when we first started it. Don't tell them that and story. It had, I won't tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> Too many famous names. But, but anyway, it was most. It was. It was medicinal. I mean, it mm -hmm. seemed like you know it just was good for anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would just ration it out to friends. So you mm -hmm. got to try this, you know. But to this day, uh, now that they're developing, you know, when we went into Truly, when they they have developed all these different potions of. Uh, ways to go when, when when they presented this to us they gave us you know we got to try these things you know and see how we we liked them how it affected us so and we know what we needed at our age uh, people at our age that need the you know they don't need the paranoid that's that seems to be all gone these days mm -hmm. you know uh and, and when you're older you don't really get high anymore you just get uh, relief <laughs> which is a great thing you know i can i can, <laughs> I can say that we, I know more people now and people that I actually thought you know, never thought of smoking marijuana or taking, you know, cannabis products. Uh, but I know people now who do that, that I would have never thought that would have, you know, that are our age and didn't grow up in our culture, you know, because like we, you know, we grew up in a, in a music culture and it was, you know, we're, we were a little bit more uh, liberal with some things than others. but. Um, but I know a lot of people who uh, who have discovered medical marijuana for pain and for you know different things. We say God made marijuana, man made booze. Who do you trust? <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, a good that's point. Awesome. <laughs> it's not that's, so that's right. an old. We tell our older friends that <laughs> that's an old uh, uh, sort of uh, thing we brought back from India. It's in our studio. That's what it says. So. It's kind of a it's kind of a roster say. <laughs> <laughs> so the Bellamy brothers hold the record in both the Academy of Country Music ACM and the Country Music Association Award CMA for the most duo nominations. Do you guys write all your songs in Florida at your honky tonk ranch? Well, a lot of them. 
uh, I don't think we wrote them all here, but we wrote a good amount of them in Florida at the Honky Tonk Ranch. Yeah, we've uh, uh, this old place has been uh, inspirational to us. Uh, it's been in our family since 1870. Wow. And uh, and you know it's still it's still the place we always come back to. We we've toured over 70 countries, but we always sort of come back to this old place and and live. And it's and it's just a very simple old ranch. It's not too much different than it was when we were growing up. And and we've both got houses here, and our and our sister uh, still lives here. There's still there's still two or three generations here. Yeah, I guess is, yeah. we did have four before our mom passed. We had four generations at one time living here. Wow, that's but, yeah. yeah, but it's a it's a very sacred place to us, and it's and and we've written a lot of songs. We got a studio over in my yard, so we can wander out there in our pajamas and and record if we want to. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Um, so Howard and David, what was it like starring in your reality TV show and sharing your life at the ranch in Dade City? Like, did fans start showing up at the ranch more than normal? Yeah, we, <laughs> we've had fans. We, we certainly have had fans show up, you know, and, and Dave and I have done, as he was saying, 72 countries around the world over the years. And uh, so we have a lot of foreign, foreign, foreign friends and, and fans that come to Florida, of course, for the destination vacation. And, and they're just curious as to where we live and they want to come out. A funny story, once we had a, a big, uh, used to have a big longhorn steer in the front pasture just to look at these huge horns. And I, I hear this noise. I look, look down onto the road and there was this girl leaning over the fence with a camera. And... <laughs> A leaning weight on the fence and, and the the board on top of the fence should have been repaired but it was a little a little rotten i guess it was and she tipped over into the pasture with the steer and and i i saw it must have, i could i could just say lawsuit <laughs> oh no did the steer go after her or anything did he oh, like well oh, oh, that's good <laughs> it's actually a pet but he looked really yeah, vicious looked, yeah you know? He's actually a, a big old longhorn. He's like a really sweet, but um, yeah, we get some people coming by, you know, uh, Honky Tonk Ranch, um, you know, uh, our, our uh, business manager, Chris is over here and, and my wife, they, you know, they kind of watch things here sometimes and they'll call me sometimes and go, um, uh, somebody's at the, at the gate. Don't go down there right now. Somebody's at the gate. They want to tour the Honky Tonk Ranch, you know, and <laughs> so they'll have to go down and tell them we don't do any public tours and stuff you know which i didn't realize your ranch was multi-generational that's amazing oh yeah yeah it's, yeah, it's an old florida uh ranch we had uh, some people doing a story out here the other day a uh, magazine and um and they were talking about it going back about as far well i guess some of it was, the, it was 150 years 150 this year this year yeah wow that's amazing i love that so i also read that your song no country music for old men was a tribute to kenny rogers um, were you guys close friends? Yeah, we knew Kenny really well, and, and we knew him for a long time, you know, from, from the old days, what we call the old days. Um, you know, when you work as many shows and play as many places we, we did, uh, you, you run into just about everybody. So there's hardly anybody, especially in the what we call the golden era of country. We, we knew just about all those people. Plus, you know, our Let Your Love Flow was a... a crossover with pop rock head as well so we we got to play music with all genres you know like the old, old r&b artists to, you know pop rock artists in europe around the world we've done a lot of collaborations with them yeah so we've got to see artists from all, all categories we we saw kenny um about a year before he passed right on the, yeah we did a cruise cruise uh, he, oh uh, cool pre-covid <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Just before the COVID tour and the Blake Shelton tour, we we had seen him, and he was had flown down to I think Jamaica. Yeah, we were in Jamaica. We were in Jamaica, and he'd flown in and did did his show on the ship, and uh, so we got to see him and and hang out with him a little bit. So that was nice. But yeah, um, that whole song was was about a lot of the Kenny especially, but a lot of the the, the great people we lost during COVID. You know, because there was a you know Charlie Pride. Who was, a, who was a really dear yeah, friend of we, ours. We were really close to Charlie. We, we toured Charlie all over the world, world with Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, um, that song kind of was inspired by all those people passing last year. Howard and David, I have to ask you, how are you spending 420? 
Well, you know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna, uh, no, I'm sure we're gonna not be feeling pain on 420. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna fight pain every way we can. You know, um, we were talking about, I guess the difference in, in, in us then and us now, you know, cause we're, uh, we're not getting any younger but we're still out there doing it. But um, a lot of our, um, uh, a lot of our, the medical marijuana now we, we do for pain, you know, and people our age do it for pain. A lot of our friends do it now. You know? I can't imagine going through COVID without uh, medical <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> yes. You know, that's a really interesting statement because, um, uh, you know, um, medical cannabis sales in 2020 blew through the roof, didn't they, Volda? Yes, they did. Yeah, as you, and as you go into the dispensary, sometimes I get it delivered. That's a wonderful thing, too, by the way. I never thought I'd see the day. Mm -hmm. uh, then you say, I want to get out, so you'll go in, make your order, go in the dispensary, and you'll run into, you know, characters sitting around and you strike up conversations you know ptsd uh, veterans and that sort of thing people who are really i mean we've been fortunate you know we're just old because we're, <laughs> we're in pain because we're old a lot of them you know they don't have legs they don't have you know they've just been in horrible act cancer patients and just whatever and you strike up conversations and you know it's it's given them a life back you know as, a, as opposed to the opioids that we you know, lived on for years, uh, you know, it's it's not a constipated world anymore. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just one of the minor side effects. Oh, of, gosh. Of but I like your comment about like the, the culture of going to a medical dispensary, because you're right, you know, uh, patients know that they can walk in, they can express or share the symptoms that they're having and the difficulties that they're having. And the bud tenders are always very informed about what strain is best for inflammation or swelling or yeah. you know insomnia yeah. or nausea or yeah, appetite right. depressant you know and it just uh, it's very mind blowing to know how like the best bud tenders are really an encyclopedia of symptom management oh absolutely that's a, that's a great point uh, you know the the workers and and, and and truly the employees there they're they're very knowledgeable yeah you know mm -hmm. things I, i've taught them things uh, a lot of them didn't know that the original, we used to call in the old hippie song, there's a, a alliance that's the smoke combat torpedo. Mm -hmm. Well, a torpedo, we call it was a joint then. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that's <laughs> what it was called. Not many people, these generations know that. But that's what that was about. And it was, it, it was just a fat torpedo. It was fat in the middle and twisted on the ends. And, and uh, but, but, you know, with all the research done now, and, and it's, they're so knowledgeable, and they, they've just done an amazing job, you know, at, at educating people on what was would work for them and what to try. So that's very that's very helpful. Yeah, and I think speaking of uh, really providing relief to as many patients as possible, one of the things that truly really prides ourselves on is making it accessible, right, to as many people across the state of Florida as possible. So. Um, I can't uh, talk hippies <laughs> and uh, we're so close to 420 without mentioning uh, that this 420 is actually the 50th anniversary of 420. So officially started in 1971 and here we are in 2021. Uh, we're going into our fifth year uh, in operation here in Florida and right around 420, we're gonna be opening our 80th dispensary. So you talk about accessibility, right? Uh, Truly is making sure that uh, patients across the state uh, from north to south in every county possible uh, has access to medicine. And to your point also, we have delivery service. And I think in addition to that, of course, we are going to be giving away 10 420 swag boxes. So look forward to that. Uh, coming your way soon as we all, I think, celebrate, um, as you said, God's medicine, right? God made cannabis, <laughs> um, you know, at a time when, you know, 50 years uh, and, and growing. The Bellamy Brothers Reggae Cowboy, Afterglow, and Big Love Cannabis Strains are available at every True Lead Medical Dispensary location in Florida. Uh, the Belly May Brothers new EP Bucket List is now available across all digital platforms and fans can also pick up a copy of the Bellamy Brothers 40 Years, the album on their website. 
So Val Valda, Howard, and David, thank you for visiting us. It's been a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you thank so much. You guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you for having us.